Hello. How are you? How are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear yes. me? Yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love the background. So nice. Thank you. This is my in-home studio, and it's Prince themed. So all the wall it, walls are my collection of Prince art because I'm a bit awesome. of a fan. All right, I guess we can um, go ahead and get started. We wanted to interview you, so um, let's begin with I guess all of the things. So. I'm Salise Charming with the Pole Circuit, and we have Hatapero. And uh, I'm it's pronounced Ho. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. <laughs> I said oh. that. Like, uh, like they do down in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So um, I guess first tell us a little bit about your company, and then we'll talk about how you're going to judge our uh, show. Perfect. So, Ho Apparel is almost two years old. Um, we'll be two in March. I started it. Um, I went. I went through a life-changing event. I got a divorce and had to leave the company that I had grown with my husband. Um, and after twenty years of owning my own business, I did not want to go back into the work world and work for someone else. So, I started Ho Apparel with the idea that we would be that place you would go to to find everything you need for the aerial sports. Uh, as I started in pole, I realized that there are a ton of clothing companies, there are a ton of pole grip companies, but they all sell just their product. Yeah. And there are a couple that, that sell a little bit more, but, but I wanted to have the full range of products, anything and everything you could possibly need, Plus add in my background of strength training. So I'm a, um, a power lifter is sort of the sport, my original sport. And, and I've had 20 years in that arena. So I wanted to meld that together and be sort of an information hub for people that are trying to figure out how to get stronger, how to progress and pull, how to use strength as sort of a basis for that. Plus while they're here, find everything they need for their dance bag. You have gone silent. I cannot hear you. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Find something that matches so perfect. That is made for the shoe. We're made for that shoe. <laughs> and then, um, and then what else? Oh, and obviously I was wandering around, and you guys had dancing dust. I bought this from you too. <laughs> and you do. I do. Um, whoever is not familiar, it's stuck right now. But it's a, a powder. Let me unstuck it. I hope I don't like bust it everywhere. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so it's gonna be a great reveal, you guys. <laughs> Very cute. Super cute. You like, like, put it on, and it's also like a grip. So you guys really do have everything. <laughs> and what am I? You sell the book, the the PT anatomy book as well. well uh, one of my goals was to import. Um, the products from other companies that we all see on Instagram, but then when you go to buy it and it's international shipping, that's a little daunting. Um, so I figured if I had them in my warehouse and people just had to pay domestic shipping, um, it'd be a lot easier. Uh, so that Dancing Dust is from Australia. Yes. <laughs> yes, and, um, and if you were to order it, it would be like a fortune because you have to pay the Australia shipping, which comes with international charges. It's, it's like a whole ordeal yeah. rather than just buying that from you guys, which made a lot more sense. <laughs> the first time we were at Polcon, um, I had a lot of people come into the booth and say, oh my God, I've seen this on Instagram, but didn't want to um, bite the bullet and 
and pay the international shipping. So I try to bring in as much as I can from overseas. Which is amazing. And it's not an easy thing to do. So like I commend you for that. That's really nice of you to take care of our community <laughs> like that. Bite the bullet and you taking, you know, the bulk of the cost of the shipments and all that. So that's really nice to be able to expand for everyone. But um, changing gears real quick, you are going to be <laughs> judging Naughty Valentine, which is the full circus competition. And I guess I just want to talk a little bit about your background and how did you get into this industry and maybe some things you've done that people might not know and just to be familiar with everything you do. You do quite a bit. <laughs> I'm super busy. Um, I I feel like my journey to pole is similar to most women. I felt fat, I felt unattractive, I didn't feel sexy, I didn't feel okay in my own skin. And someone said, hey, come take a pole class. And I was awful, I was terrible at it. Um, but I could see how if I stuck to it, all the things I needed would start to grow. I could feel comfortable in my own skin. I could feel, um, learn to feel sexy for myself and not try to just do it for somebody else. So, so that's how I started. That was three years ago. Uh, eight months in, I had shoulder surgery. So I had to take six months off. Um, but then came, came back. I hadn't lost much. Um, and added Lyra. So now I do both pole and Lyra. I am not good at either of them. Um, I'm a very beginner. Um, well, that's what people say. Like, you, you, I, I guess I like to be open with where I am. Um, I don't want people to think that I'm this amazing athlete. I love it all and I do it. I'm not necessarily good at it, but I have great enthusiasm for it. Um, so much enthusiasm. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. <laughs> As long as you're having fun, right? Yes, definitely. And so, um, how did you get into Lyra? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I've tried it here or there, but I find it to be a bit painful. It hurts. To me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like pole. If you do it consistently, and by consistently, I just mean once a week, mm -hmm. the, um, the pain diminishes. And I know people say that, like, but it really does. So if you like commit to three weeks, by the third session, it's not nearly as painful as it was in the beginning. I should stick to you it. should just <laughs> stick to it. And so unlike pole, where if you aren't a good dancer and you haven't learned the moves yet, like you're kind of terrible looking at first trying to put it all, but there's so much to put together. There are so many basic moves on the Lyra that look amazing. So, um, like I haven't progressed past level one simply because I like the time slot that level one is in. Uh, and so my teacher has just expanded on level one skills and I can do a two or three minute routine on the Lyra that looks really good, but they're basic moves. So that's what I like about it. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that for sure. I guess, um, since you do have such a variety with the apparel company and everything, what is something you recommend people to try? Like maybe like a beginner grip or like um, just kind of something if no one's heard of your company, what should they look at or try or think about that you would recommend? I definitely suggest that you reach out to me so we can have a conversation about grips. Yeah. <laughs> because pole grip is different for every person, for every climate. Um, and I like, I like when I'm face to face with people because I can say, what have you tried before? And for those people that have not tried anything, then we can walk through some questions. Do you have oily skin? Do you have dry skin? Like, where do you live? Um, I find that if you just do a poll, the same poll grip that like your friend in class had, often it doesn't work and people get discouraged. Um, and then there are also teachers out there that say, you don't need pole grip. Like if you can, you just moisturize, like there's all these, this stuff and it can be overwhelming. So my suggestion to any beginner is to uh, reach out to me, DM me, email me, and let's start a conversation about pole grips so that you can start out with the right one. 
Uh, I like iTac. Yeah. But but my best friend can't use iTac. It makes her slippery. Oh. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to ask you. So, for example, some people say, oh, the more advanced you get, you don't necessarily need as much grip or you won't need any grip. I've kind of heard that a few times. What do you think? <laughs> You know, I'm going to do a podcast on this topic um, because what you need and what I need are going to be completely different. So if, if you're an advanced person that doesn't need pole grip, that's amazing. I might be an advanced person that still has to lather myself up from head to toe. Um, so I, I get that people want to teach you to be able to do it without grip or be able to go through moves in case you're somewhere like and you have to perform and you don't have everything that you need. Um, but I think an, you can't say any absolute, right? You just can't say as a professional, you shouldn't use grip. You should just, use whatever the heck you want. Yeah, everybody's different. Everybody's different. People's bodies run warmer than other people. So they're going to sweat regardless of their level, beginner, intermediate, or whatnot. So yeah, that's definitely a good point. And I guess um, just to kind of sum everything up and ask a quick question about um, competing. Since you're going to be judging, do you have any advice for anybody who wants to do the competition? It is virtual, so you do get to do it as many times as you want and submit the best one, which is a, a great thing to have. And um, what do you say for someone performing? I say, if you have any desire to compete, go ahead and sign up. One of my rules is um, you hear people say, I'll wait to compete till I'm better. And I just tell people don't just compete because if you can, if you start competing when you are at a lower level, then you figure out how to manage the nerves and you know how to plan your choreography and how much practice you need. You figure all of that out while you're still bottom level. And as you your skills progress, then you figured out all that extraneous stuff and competition is no big deal for you. So if you have any inkling that you want to compete, go ahead and sign up. Just bite the bullet and do it. Do it. Just do it. Well, and this is such a great community, right? Like. I, in the powerlifting world, I, it was the same way, and I used to tell people, doesn't matter how much weight you lift, just getting up on the platform and lifting the weight, the whole room's going to go insane because they're proud of you for doing it. The pole community's the same way. Compete, and we will all love you for competing. That's awesome. I love that message. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, Nike got it right. <laughs> and um, I guess um, any, like, closing comments or anything you want to share with anybody might be watching before we go? Well, I want to thank you for asking me to judge the competition. I'm super, super excited. Um, and, and I'm thankful for this interview as well. Um, we didn't really get to talk at Polcon last year because you were so busy. You breezed through. Uh, and then I don't think I ever saw you again. So uh, will you be Polcon this year? Yes, um, we're trying to do like an actual circuit at Polk. We're working on that. We're recording it this weekend. So you have to like audition and send the submission for Polkon to perform. So we're doing that this weekend. Hopefully all that goes well. And it'll be really cool because it's never, it's never been done before. So we're trying to, try to bring the circuits alive to uh, Polkon. So we'll see. That's amazing. I can't wait. If there's anything I can do to help with that, just just holler because that sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be quite the the show, but um, it'll be awesome. Yeah, and you guys are going to be there, right? You guys have a booth. We we are. We have a big double booth. Awesome. Uh, so um, I think you also have like some sort of uh, discounts or something going on. You want to share with people? I saw on the yes. Internet. So if you go to the website and you use the code five off now so the number five off now you can get five dollars off of your order um, so that coupon code is live use it as many times as you want and they have everything <laughs> whatever you have they have i've stocked 
I, you know what you need to do? We need to do like a walkthrough of your warehouse. <laughs> if I could just like scroll and like, like just have my card ready. <laughs> it's, um, it's so overwhelming. And let me tell you, there's a list of products that I want to bring on. If you start thinking about all that we need and all that we use and all that is fun, like it's insane. Makeup, glitter, like there's just so much. So stay tuned this year. I'm going to be bringing on a bunch of stuff. All of it. All of it. <laughs> because the thing is that the makeup that we use for performance is different than like makeup you buy at the store and stuff that has to be like waterproof and sweat proof and like proof proof. <laughs> All the proof. And, and really, really bright hues like like lipstick like you have on that like really like like pops like where the colors are really deep and rich. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking into a, to, there's just so much and it's so much fun. So we're, we're going to do a walkthrough of the warehouse coming up next week, guys. Hey, <laughs> I have to clean. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. I can imagine you with the broom. You're like, oh, we're recording. <laughs> the worst thing about the warehouse is we have cats. So it's in a house and, um, my friend rents half the house and the warehouse is in the other half. We have four cats at the house, so I'm constantly running them out of the warehouse. Oh. Do they knock things over? Yes. Like my, like, yes. I don't want this here. <laughs> constantly. Scratch boxes, sit on my computer, they're menaces. Oh, but they're so cute. <laughs> they are cute menaces. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. I really appreciate it. So excited to have you as a judge. And I'm Felice Carmen with the Pool Circuit. Susan Bartley with Hot Beauty. <laughs> Ho Beauty. Ho Apparel. Ho Apparel. Ho Apparel. I'm butchering. That's okay. I know. <laughs> They'll find us. All right. We're going to add the link and everything at the bottom of the interview. And thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.